since Google threw us a curveball and with the last update, it actually blocked access to third-party applications like Zero Code Kit. And now a lot of the automations, a lot of the make automations done with Zero Code Kit to grab the transcript for YouTube videos are not working. We all had to find a workaround. So in this video, this is an update to the video I had before. And in this one, I will show you the exact workaround so you can continue using your YouTube videos through an RSS and then transcribe them and automatically repurpose them in multiple different types of content. And if you want this new blueprint, as usual, just come and join my school community and you can have this blueprint and all my other blueprints or GPT uh, templates absolutely free. Okay, so basically this is the new automation and this front bit here, with the HTML modules and the text parsers are what we're going to replace our zero code kit module with. And yes, it is a little bit longer, but it is a work around. And somebody very smart actually helped me out to do that. And I'm super, super grateful to him. All right, so the very first thing is we're going to use the same RSS mod mod module to uh, find our YouTube channel. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a request to this URL to get the video. And then we are going to add a text parser and we're going to use this specific pattern here to get the actual transcript from the data that we've received through the HTML module. Uh, that's all you need to do in here. Then we're going to call another HTML module, but we're going to get the transcript. And as you can say in this URL, uh, we're just doing a replace string and we're going to uh, grab that transcript. And as I said, all this is available in my school community. And if you want this blueprint and all the others, just make sure that you click the link below and come and join us. Then what we're doing is we're going to grab this data and clean it up a little bit because now it's coming up as HTML version. So we're going to make it into text. And this text parser is actually HTML to text. This first one is a match pattern. The second one is an HTML to text. Then we are going to uh, add an iterator and we want to actually grab the videos that are coming through because it may not be just one video. You could have two, three, five videos depending on how often you run this automation. So if you have more than one video, you definitely need to separate them. So basically all we're doing is separating uh, the different um, texts. So the different uh, transcriptions into uh, a separate transcription for each. And then what we're going to do is actually put everything into Airtable. We're going to uh, create a record. We're going to put the video title and URL from the RSS feed. We're going to put each of the transcripts into a separate record. And we're going to grab the thumbnail again from our RSS feed right here. Then we're going to have a router that will separate the different types of content. And in here, you can actually start doing some customizations. So what I've done is I have, uh, and I'm going, sorry, my, my, my mouse is doing something funny, but so what I'm doing is I'm creating an email teaser. I'm creating a social media teaser. I'm creating a long form post for social media a uh, two short form video scripts. And um, then I am creating some short form video posts and I also want to create images for them. And finally, I want to grab some quotes from the video that I can use for either Twitter or I can put them on an image and create image quotes. So let's go through each one individually. But as I said, if you don't want to use any of these or if you want to put something else, you can actually customize all this part here. But let's look at mine. So the first one is my email teaser. 
And uh, the first thing I'm going to say is give the role to the system. And I say, you're an experienced copywriter specializing in writing content that, spark, that sparks curiosity, engagement, and that converts. Now, the second, sorry, the second message is the user. So this is exactly what I wanted to do. I will say, write an email teaser from the transcript. So again, I'm grabbing each transcript from the iterator that will entice my subscribers to click through and watch the full video. And the instructions are I write the body of the email and write three possible hooks to be used for the email subject. Um, I have some rules, I write a minimum of three paragraphs. The email copy should be fun and easy to read and spark curiosity. The copy should be from a first person perspective and written like I'm talking to a friend and the language should be informal and friendly. So uh, basically, I've created a short prompt. Of course, if you are using it for yourself, you will have to fine tune it for whatever you are doing. And to uh, you can actually also use your own style. You can give it some examples of your style, of your writing style, of your tone and voice and all that. And while, once I'm done, I will just add this information to Airtable. Uh, basically, I will record the Airtable ID from my very first, where is it? Yeah, from the very first module where I'm creating the record. And then all I do is go to choices, message, and I am going to click on content. So uh, this is the first one. The second one is a social media teaser, which is exactly the same thing, but for social media, I'm giving the system the same role. And uh, this one is a little bit shorter. I'm just saying write a teaser post for social media, uh, for social media promoting the video based on Again, the transcript. The goal is for my followers to comment for the video link. This is what I do for mine. I actually want people to comment so I can give them the video link in a message and possibly start a conversation that could result in me selling something. All right. Then we're going to create a long form post, which is uh, based on the actual transcript. So all I say is write a long form social media post based on the transcript and the instructions are make the post fun and educational. The copy should be from first person perspective and written like I'm talking to a friend. So I'm kind of doing the same thing I did for the email. The language should be informal and friendly. Don't use any greetings. Use appropriate amount of emojis. Um, and all these modules, by the way, are uh, just the create a completion module. Now let's have a look at some short form video scripts because I can use a transcript for, from the long form video to actually create transcript, transcripts for short form videos that I can then uh, record or I can use the transcripts to create a faces video for either Reels or TikTok or YouTube Shorts. And again, I'm saying use a transcript to create two short form video scripts and the instructions are make the scripts fun and educational, make one script with emphasis on the significance of the topic and the other on how the topic, this actually should be the <laughs> topic, um, and the other how the topic would impact business in a positive way. Write a minimum of five paragraphs, write from the first person perspective. The scripts are intended for audio formats, thus visual descriptions like scenes, opening shots, or any form of visual narration should be excluded. Now, the reason I'm saying this is I know that I'm either going to do a faceless video or a talking head video, but if I don't say that it's for an audio, it almost always comes up with some sort of instructions for scenes and opening shots or any other visuals. And then and the only thing I'm asking is to separate the two scripts with uh, a separator. All right, then I'm going to use the tools to set a variable and I'm going to split those results with the three dashes that I indicated in my output here. That way I will be able to then transfer each one of them into a separate cell into my Airtable. And as you can see, I have the first transcript here and the second transcript here. So basically, Here's how it's done. 
you are going to click on the down arrow and then click on the one and then go in between these two brackets and click one for the first one and two for the second one. So I'm going to delete it at the moment. Uh, and this is done. The next thing we want to do is we want to create some captions for Instagram. And basically what I'm saying is, again, I'm giving my system the role of an experienced copywriter. And I'm asking to write two short form social media posts based on the transcript. And the instructions are make the post fun and educational, make one post with emphasis on the significance of the impact and the other on how the topic will enrich businesses right from first person perspective. Sorry, this is kind of, um, okay. So again, I want to separate the two posts with the three dashes so I can separate them further and do not include the number of posts such as post number one. Because what I've noticed when I was testing it, it was constantly giving me post one and post two. So I kind of gave that as um, an output instruction. <clears throat> okay, then again, as the video scripts, we're going to separate exactly the same way these two short form posts. And what I want after that is because I'm going to use them for Instagram, I'm going to put another router and then I'm going to create two separate images. I just found that this is much, much easier than uh, trying to do it all in one. Uh, when I separate them into different parts, it's working much, much easier. And we are going to use a DALI module to generate an image. Okay, and all I'm saying is use the copy. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use uh, each copy from the tools to create an image that perfectly describes, sorry, another typo, the message in the copy. That's all I'm saying. Now you can, you can write a much more detailed prompt uh, for yourself, but in here for the demo, this is perfectly fine. And I'm doing exactly the same with the second one, except I'm putting number two, which is my second, trans uh, my second copy. And as per the other ones, I'm going to map them out into, uh, into my Airtable. So the first thing is I'm, I'm mapping my short form post and then underneath I'm mapping my image from here. So this is the DALI module and I am going to map it by the URL. So this is done with number one and number two. And the last thing, as I said before, I want to do is create some quotes that I can use for either Twitter or for image quotes. And uh, that's another completion module. And all I'm saying is uh, um, this time I'm giving it a role that um, you are an, ex an experienced copywriter specializing in writing quotes. And again, I'm using the transcript to write 10 insightful quotes. And the instructions are write short sentences for each quote, stay on topic and only use the content from the transcript. And the third one is create quotes that are impactful and spark curiosity and engagement. And again, because I have um, tested it before, <laughs> I am saying do not include the number of quotes such as quote number one and do not add quotation marks, just text, because I notice it always gives me uh, the quotation marks, uh, sorry, the quotes in quotation marks, and it almost always tells me quote now, quote one, quote two, quote, quote three. So the reason I'm doing this is because it's easier to then create a pattern for the text parser. And what I'm trying to do with this pattern that you can actually generate with uh, 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 chat GPT or with Claude, or if you are in my school community, this will just come with the blueprint. And all I need to do is to uh, create this text parser through my quotes um, in the completion module of chat GPT, which is right here in the content. Okay, and then what I'm doing is actually my air table, which is right here. So the first one is all the previous, um, all the previous 
modules that we have, like the transcripts, the thumbnails, the teasers, the social media posts, but I want the quotes to be separate. And the reason I want them to be separate is because otherwise I'll have huge gaps here. So I've put in here that I want the video title. So the video, the video title will be exactly the same. And then the quotes will be different. So this is how I've mapped it out. And um, basically, uh, I'm mapping out that video title from the very first RSS feed. And then I'm mapping out my fallback match in this instance because the fallback match will actually give me the actual quotes. And this is it. So I'm going to save it because we made a couple of changes and then I'm going to run it. And we're going to see how it's performing in my Airtable. Okay, so the first thing we did is we got, uh, let me just start from the beginning. Okay, I will just update this. Okay, so we've got the URL, we have the transcript, we've got the thumbnail, we have our email teaser, which actually uh, also comes with the three subject lines, uh, which is really good, so you can choose. We have our email teaser, we have the long form post, and I think in this instance, the, uh, the short form video scripts come first, as you can see, I did ask that there's no visuals or scenes or any of that. So it's actually come up with only the script. Uh, what else are we doing? Okay, our short form uh, content is coming up. So we have the little short form content for Instagram and it's also creating images with Dali. Now you can swap, something I want to show you is Instead of DALI here, you can use Leonardo. Leonardo definitely creates better images than DALI. But for this demo, I've just decided to use DALI because it's easier. Okay, so we've got the first short form content. We've got the, the second short form content with another image. Like they're not too bad, but you can always tell that they're made by DALI. And the last thing we're getting are these 10 quotes. As you can see, I have the same video title everywhere and then the 10 quotes separate. So this is the reason I didn't want to put that in here and have empty rows until the next video title. Okay, so you can see how it works. It's really, really good. It's working. It's a great workaround. If you were using Zero Code Kit before or if you watched my video uh, using Zero Code Kit. So uh, you can either recreate it or come to my school and grab the blueprint.